What do you say to your sister on Mother's Day after the loss of her baby or child? Is it better to distract her with a nice gift or special outing that helps her keep her mind off her grief, or to mention her loss and risk triggering her sadness? I'm Pam Breedevelt, professional counselor and grief expert. During the last 30 years I've been a therapist, caring people like you have frequently asked these questions. Now the short answer is, it's far better to comment on what deeply matters to your sister than to ignore it. And I'll give you some sample phrases to do just that in a few moments. Your gifts are lovely, but if you wanna help your sister heal, honor her loss and validate her grief. I received a call from a lady recently whose sister suffered a second miscarriage. And it was a difficult situation because their mother did not want to talk about the babies. She thought it was just better to not talk about it, stay busy, move on, and kind of get back to normal. Now the problem is, in the wake of a sudden loss of a baby, normal ceases to exist. You just don't ever go back to who you were before your loss. You're forever changed. And the woman was really worried about her sister because both their mother and the sister's husband had shut down. He just said he was done talking about it. So this gal was her sister's only touchstone for sanity, the only family member who was willing to share her sister's heartache. Unfortunately, this scenario is all too common. As a culture, we struggle to handle and help those around us who are grieving. We shy away for fear of saying something wrong, but the truth is there is always a risk of saying something wrong. But you know your sister and your sister will know that you are trying and that you care. Mother's Day is just around the corner and it's a day that tends to trigger an emotional ambush of grief. All that pain can suddenly just erupt seemingly out of nowhere and with an intensity that feels like her loss just happened yesterday. Here's the good news. You are in a strategic position to be able to make a huge difference in your sister's day. You can confidently offer her hope and healing using any of the phrases we're going to suggest. Your sister's grief doesn't need a solution. It simply needs to be noticed and validated by your compassion. That's right, Jesse. And a little word of caution here. Be gentle in your approach. I was talking with a young mom recently who went to visit her sister right after her miscarriage. She was gonna take a week and just rest and relax and was hoping for some comfort. But much to her surprise, her sister kept pumping her for details about the miscarriage and probing for reasons why it happened. She kept pushing her to share her thoughts and feelings. It was just way too much pressure for this young mom. Sharing another person's grief usually happens by invitation only. So please use a gentle approach with your sister. Let her take the lead. Let her guide on when, where, and how much she wants to share of her story. Now we've collected some simple phrases of hope from moms who have shared their positive experiences with us, and we'll cover 10 samples here and then give you 10 more at the end of this video. Feel free to use them however you like to create something special for your sister. Let's look at 10 sample phrases. I see a fierce resolve inside of you, mightier than your grief. Your dignity and courage to keep going in the midst of immense sadness is a strength like none other. Your story matters. When the time is right, I invite you to share your story with me. Be gentle with yourself and give yourself grace. It takes time to mend a broken heart. I'm thinking of you today and sending you love and comfort. I will do all that I can to help you find a way through this. You are not alone. Give yourself permission to take good care of you. I'm not afraid of the dark. I'm with you and I will stick with you through it until the light shines in your heart again. It's okay to not feel strong, but I'm hoping you feel especially loved today. I'll cry with you until we run out of tears. We'll walk this healing path together. How very softly you tiptoed into our world, almost silently, only a moment you stayed, but what an imprint your footsteps have left upon our hearts. 
I will give you treasures hidden in the darkness, secret riches. I will do this so that you know that I am the Lord, the one who calls you by name. If you'd like more ideas on how to create a customized card using your sister's name, check out video one where Jesse and I show you how to share healing words using the letters of a name. Something similar can be done for your sister as well. You can also get a tip sheet from this video, 10 more healing phrases, and some colorful printables with messages of hope. Simply go to pamfreedevelt.com and click on gifts in the upper right hand corner. You'll find them there. Seven unique videos are available in this series filled with practical tips about what friends, family members, and community leaders can say around Mother's Day to honor moms who have experienced a loss. We invite you to pass the videos on to others who may find value in them. And personally, Jesse and I want to thank you for taking time to share healing words with the moms you know and love. A little bit of your time and compassion can make a huge difference in how she experiences Mother's Day. Until then, take good care.